So recently I started playing Destiny 2 after, well, sort of recently, but anyway, point being, I started playing Destiny 2. I was extremely into it for a while, you know, I mean, it's a good break away from most of the games I've played. And c compared to Destiny 1, it's pretty much just the same, just some new enemies, new armor, new weapons, new same old, same old, you know. And <sighs> it's... It was equally as fun when I first played Destiny 1. And now I find myself play it playing Destiny 2. I found myself stopped playing it after a while. You know, you gotta have to have a break. But I've been playing so much Destiny 2 recently. A lot of there's a lot of grinding, and the grinding's actually fun compared to Destiny 1. Destiny 1 it was like oh go to Mars, go to whatever, you know, Venus, whatever whatever planet you you prefer to actually uh, farm on and you know you just sat there doing the Taken invasions and well this is after Taken King obviously but you know, you know all that you know you never really found yourself doing really anything once you've completed the game. In this it's kind of the same you know you complete the game but you also don't have to complete the game really. I, I found myself not really even completing the game before I'd reached like oddly 240 power. <laughs> It was different farming in this. The public events were extremely different. There's the Walker event where you have to fight off a Walker. Essentially, it's just a big ass artillery, crabby, spidery looking ass thing, and uh, you just have to unlock all the scorch cannons that you used to fight it with to make it a heroic event. Heroic events are actually a new thing in Destiny 2, from what I can tell. You got that, then you got a uh, specific ones for certain planets, such as Titan. Usually has the Walker and the Witches, which can be turned heroic as well. Obviously, all events can be heroic somehow. Uh, I've seen mostly on Earth is usually when you. It's mostly just the Fallen doing scavenging things. Uh, on the other planets, it's pretty much just all the same stuff. Titan is like the only one that has a different thing. Uh, so the events are new. The events are different from Destiny 1. The events are equally as fun from Destiny 1. Well, when they were fun. <laughs> uh, the story mode... Is, the story, the campaign, Duvalaki looking ass, you know, oh, I'm forgetting my words now because I'm a script. Probably should start writing scripts of these things. I'm too fucking lazy because I can't be fucked. Anyway, point being, that, you know, it's it's fun. It's not just go here, go there, respawn, pop your super, and just kill everything. It's, well, tactical. I like to say, you, you gotta you actually save your supers, especially when soloing, but you honestly can solo this entire game. Like, it's kind of too easy. The story is not really what most people come to Destiny for, though. Most people come for Crucible. I have played Crucible myself. I have actually played a lot of Crucible. Uh, I, in Destiny 1, I never really played Crucible because I played after Taken King came out, so everybody had all these overpowered sniper rifles and shotguns, rocket launchers, whatever you fancy. But the problem was that everyone had these overpowered weapons. Made it impossible, didn't play. Played like a few matches, couldn't really do anything, left before the game ends. Now, I was skeptic uh, about Destiny 2's Crucible, but it's actually fun, probably because there is no DLC yet. I recommend playing Destiny 2's Crucible if you hated Destiny 1's Crucible. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Uh, and since we're coming to the end here, I'm going to wrap it up saying it's a good game. I have to rate it. Pff, I don't know. If I had to rate the events, I'd say... 8 out of 10. Story mode, eh, like a 6.5 out of 10. Crucible, solid 9.5 out of 10. All around, total score, I'd have to say 10 out of 10. It's a great game. Later.